Tie in one of last night's local elections likely means hand counting votes. Current Willard Alderman Troy Smith and former Willard Mayor Samuel Snyder both got 349 votes. Marina Silva is in our newsroom tonight with what's next. Marina. Well, Stephen, Lisa, a nonpartisan group will hand count those votes on Friday. Then the clerk is going to wait to check the mail one more time for any overseas or military ballots. And then the election can be finalized. Um, actually, my first election back in 2015, we had a tie for... This isn't the first time Green County Clerk Shane Scholler has seen a tie race. Was there um, potentially an oval that filled with so lightly the machine could not read it? Sometimes a voter will um, vote for uh, more than one candidate and then, you know, point an arrow to the one they intended to vote for. Only the human eye can recognize that when that happens. Friday morning, a group will count the votes by hand with the public watching. We want to make sure we're open, transparent, everyone um, understands what takes place before we certify the election. The two men vying for the seat. Samuel Snyder is the previous mayor for Willard. He resigned in October after the Board of Aldermen voted to impeach him. Troy Smith is on the Board of Aldermen in Willard. He says the tie was a surprise. Certainly interesting and unexpected. If the count ends in a tie again, then it's up to the two candidates to decide. Coin toss or runoff election. Because in the end, I'm serving them. And then obviously I want to find out about expenses. And if we do a runoff election, if it comes to that, how much is that going to cost and who has to pay it? Um, because if it's an exorbitant fee or cost, my personal opinion is I'd rather save the taxpayers money and I don't think there's anything more American than flipping a coin for the win. Smith says no matter what, the new mayor will have a lot to handle. Very difficult and I think there's gonna be a lot of challenges for whoever assumes that seat because the voting population really didn't give us any clear directive or mandate on what they want. Um, half the voters want to return to the Snyder administration and the other half wanted to move on. Now, if you want to watch that hand count, you can. It's 9 a.m. on Friday at the Election Center on North Boonville. We'll let you know those results on Friday afterwards. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.